All right. Well, speaking of schedules, uh, Ed Day has just about two weeks to make a, 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 a decision about, um, have you been following the plastic bed ban that's been proposed and accepted by uh Yeah, we talked about that this morning. Um, is, it, is it before the legislature for a vote? It's already gone to the oh, legislature. It's gone to the legislature. Yeah, and it's passed. The, the bill was sponsored by Lori Santulli and Nancy Lohagen, uh, Hogan, and it was, um, it was passed last week, and now the bill is on its way to, uh, to Ed Day's desk. And I can tell you from having, we've um, been following this story, actually we started uh, this story um, by covering the plastic bag ban in Piermont about a month or so ago. And then we heard that the county was going to take this up, and so we've we've had a couple pieces on this. Um, and um, yeah, you know, he, the uh, the county um, proposed the legislation. And um, oh, I know what I was going to say. I was going to say, based on what I can see on on you know Facebook and social media, there seems to be I would say overwhelming support for a day to go ahead and and make this uh, the law of the land here in the county. Is there going to be a, um, a turnover period? You know, where is this going to happen right away, or will there be? I, I really haven't kept up on this as well as I should, I guess, because I don't shop. My daughter does. But, I mean, is it going to be a gradual process of, of um, going over to you no know, bags versus uh, slow phasing them out? How's that, how's that going to work? Yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly how it would work. Um, I, I think that, um, you know, everybody can understand that there has to be a transitional period. And not only that, but it's a very difficult, you know, thing to enforce when you think about how many establishments uh, still use plastic bags. I, I think it's more about um, a mindset. And I think that if Ed Day shows leadership and passes this bill, you know, even if everybody doesn't transition right away or, or even on time, I think the important thing is the buy-in. I, we know from the reporting that we did in Piermont, which obviously is a much smaller place, but it's like a microcosm of of a, of a bigger place. And you know, I think once you you, you pass a law, and yeah, you know, really, this is a feel good law um, because we're saving the earth, we're helping the environment. Um, you know, we're trying to turn the tide on on all of the harm that's done to um, for, you know birds and other um, aquatic life because of these plastic bags. I mean, it's the sort of thing that w- when the drumbeat starts, you know, it's, it's easy to see why um, there, there will be more, I think, adopters than there will be naysayers, ultimately, in terms of, I'm saying, in terms of the court of public opinion. How much do you know? How, do you know how much the supermarkets will charge you for each bag? Well, they won't charge you anything. They just need to transition to paper. No, yeah. No, no. I, I thought to- there was going to be... Uh, a, a, a charge for uh, each bag that you have to have, you know, uh, your groceries uh, loaded up into. You no, know, if, if you, okay, so if you bring your own, um, you know, recyclable bag, right, right. which most, most of us do by now anyway, or many of us do? do by now. Oh, right, those, we do, yeah. Yeah, I mean, those you, you purchase, and then, in fact, you get a discount in many supermarkets for using those bags in the first, you know, for using those bags. But um, the plastic bags, um, you know, the idea is to shift them to paper bags. Now, does that the add paper to the bags? Of, yeah, paper, papers, you know, recyclable. Oh, not. I know. It, it used to be when I was a kid. That's all there were. But anyway. Yeah. Well, I think it's probably a good thing to turn the clock back on and go back to paper. We know that um, last year, Dutchess, Ulster, and Suffolk counties uh, rolled out this kind of legislation, as have uh, Larchmont, Maranek. Rye and Hastings and Hudson. So those are those are some of the towns in Westchester. You know, Piermont. There was there've been rumblings about Nyack um, looking into this, but I haven't heard anything since we reported that uh, the story in Piermont. Um, but per- perhaps if this becomes county legislation, the towns don't have to pass their own laws on this. So. What do you think? I missed this. What would the county legislation in, uh, legislation entail? I mean, what 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 would it mandate or, or, or forbid or whatever? Well, it would mandate. I don't know how I missed this. 
Yeah, retailers would be barred from providing plastic carryout bags to customers mm -hmm. and must provide recyclable ones at no charge, okay? So any myth that, you know, this is going to... Recyclable what? In other words, the paper bags would be recyclable that they're going to be uh, packing the groceries in? Yeah, that's right. And the okay. enforcement law uh, would be the, the responsibility of the county's office and, office and consumer protection. Um, and that the fines can be anywhere from 250 for a first violation to 1,000 for, for repeated violations. So, you know, I mean... I think I think it's just the right thing to do. I mean, you know, there, there are people who feel like it's overreach, or you know, there's reasons why, it, um, you know, we shouldn't be legislated to this degree. But the truth is, is that it's something that's harmful. It's something that's resolvable, and um, it just takes some buy-in. I don't know. I, I uh, we'll see what it does. I, I I'm very ambivalent about this. You know, if I were asked, hey, you want, you want plastic bags, you want paper bags, and I had that option, I had that choice to make myself, I would, you know, I would probably inevitably say paper bags. But I, I'm getting sick and tired of being told what I can do and what I can't do, you know, in terms of um, styrofoam and, and the type of substances that they make for uh, takeout foods and things of that sort. You know, uh, uh, they got a law for everything. In other words, people are so stupid that we'll have to decide for you. And I got a, I got a problem with that attitude, a big one. Well, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's like seat, it, it's like seat belts, right? You know, we, we, we're legislated, we're, you know, we're legislated in our car for our own good. And, you know, it, it just, I mean, if you, if you look back to, you know, old footage and you look at the, the way we used to drive in a car, now you look back and go, whoa, that yeah. was dumb. Yeah, but it's a so, whole, I think you're mixing apples and oranges. You're talking about human lives uh, are at stake. Um, yes, but, but, the, but the problem with the plastic litter is that animal life is at stake. I don't, you know, the, the all kinds of animals are ingesting and and dying, you know, very painful deaths from um, plastic. And it's just even even you know you see plastic bags like hanging in trees, and you see the litter everywhere. I mean, it would be nice if we could just do these things without legislation. That's true. It would be nice if we could transition, but we get used to things, and big manufacturers get used to things, and unfortunately, it takes a shift. Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, let me, uh, could you take a call? The lady wants to talk to you. Oh, somebody wants yeah, to talk Marianne, to me? And Mary, go ahead. Good morning. I wanted to mention, I know that they've been, um, the plastic, not the plastic bags, the paper bags have become so thin that when you go to pick them up, they rip right away. So are they going to make those stronger so that we can eliminate these plastic bags? Well, that's a very good question, and uh, that is something that they're going to have to think about. Yeah, I, think well, where they want, I think where they, I think what the ideal thing is, um, you know the reusable bags? Yes, I, I one, use them. Right. I mean, ideally, that is just the, the, the best solution, because that, again, takes away another whole layer of the need to recycle. But I think you still so, need the plant paper bag in there, because a lot of times the groceries are just fall all over with those bags. Yeah, no, I mean, I guess they can double the bags. They do that, I know, at, at Whole Foods, they'll double the bags. Right, right. But, yeah, um, you can ask the supermarket to double bag it for you. I usually well, you know, they And they'll do it, but, you know, uh, this is just this categorical law. i got a problem with these things. I really do. You know, we'll make a law for the rank and file because they can't think for themselves. Well, screw you. Yes, we can. You know, I think you need plastic sometimes. Um, or even if you had one and you reuse it, because I use paper and plastic, but I usually ask for a lot of paper. But again, they're so thin, I go to pick them up and they rip. And I go, you know, if they made these stronger, like years ago, even with a handle or something, then you could reuse them. So that's that's my um. All right, thanks. Well, so you know, Thank you, you. You, you, you know, well, some smart capitalists will figure out how to make a better paper bag. You know, if we if we eliminate nope. plastic, right, then some smart person is going to say, oh, there's an opportunity there. That's the way America works, isn't it? Thanks. <laughs> the lady just called and said, just tell her there are going to be a lot of dog droppings on the road that weren't there when we had the plastic bags. <laughs> no. Well, um, I agree with her. 
Well, some, some, okay, so some, some things, the ban does not include um, the newspaper bags, you know, the, the plastic that the newspapers yeah, are wrapped have, in. Imagine you having your papers uh, sit out in the rain on a Saturday morning uh, right, and, with so, no plastic. So, so, there, right, so there are exemptions. Bags used to wrap produce, meat, fish, or frozen food, trash can liners, or bags used for prescription, uh, packaged prescription drugs, laundry, or dry cleaning. So... Those uses are still allowed. <laughs> I don't know. As I, just I think I think they're just largely trying to get rid of the plastic bags. You know, I mean, think about it. Somebody buys a pack of of gum, and and for no reason, you know, they they say, "Yeah, I'll take a bag with that." And there's an, another plastic bag out there that we can't break down. You know, that taxes landfills and that that harms animals. Do you have this in the in your journal now? Is there an article this week or? or the, of course, yes, of course. Plastic bag ban passes. Popular, popularly supported bill moves to Ed Day. So that is uh, on the Rockland County Business Journal site. Now how how long does he have before he has to sign on or off this? Um. Yeah. Okay. He had twenty one days from March twentieth. So what is that? He's got about till the mid mid April. Tenth. Yeah. Yeah. Mid April. But I could I could tell you at least on social media the overwhelming direction of support is to is for him to sign that law. So we shall see. Mm-hmm. We shall see. <laughs> we shall see. What else you got? Oh, what else we got? Uh, here's another hot topic. Another hot topic is uh, co-working. Uh, we, which is. Um, this kind of new configuration in, in office space where people are working in under the same roof together but separately. This is an, another big trend, and we wrote about this last week, a company called Office Evolution, uh, which is um, a franchise for co-working that they're doubling the size of their space in, in just after a year at the Blue Hill Plaza. And um, that company, I would say, is emblematic of a, a pretty big trend. Uh, so people should keep an eye on that one. It's, um, it, it's, it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot for people who are looking for entrepreneurial opportunity and, uh, you know, developers when they're, you know, the office space, we have an office space vacancy rate of over 20%. Wait, and wait uh, it, yeah. Jeff is back here. Before we go away from this, are you aware that I, I miss a lot of stuff here, I really, right. that the legislature passed a law that that's going to ban the plastic bags. Oh, they voted on it in full already. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was that last Tuesday or Thursday? Was it? It was the twenty uh, tw- nineteenth. Oh, it was the nineteenth. Oh, okay. So so it's they passed it. What was the vote? Do you know what the vote was? You know, I'm not sure what the vote was. And Ed they, Day they, has twenty one days. Ed Day has about he, well, he has about two weeks now to yeah. make this decision. And I, Jeff, I was saying to Steve that overwhelmingly, at least on on you know from what you can see in social media. Um, the community's in favor of this. Uh, okay. I, if you believe what you read on social media, okay. But I personally, I, I don't like the idea of government telling a business that they can't have these plastic bags. I mean, I, I'm all f- I'm all in favor of cutting back our usage of them. I still think they serve a valuable purpose. I think there's lots of areas where we can cut back on packaging, particularly in supermarkets and and wrappings of other kinds, where you're not burdening the the consumer much more than they already would be to make a law over it I, i'm not i'm not i'm i'm hesitant to to overly support it i mean i i think i i do my own cutting back on my own you know without government telling me or or the companies that i shop at what to do okay wait wait, wait. actually you know what i just the vote was 14 to 3 okay yeah so a lot of support there and not not that usual to have a bipartisan vote in in, uh, in our county. No, I mean, look, it's on some happen. things that that they that that maybe they think are, are mm. appealing for for whatever reason, but uh, they still haven't gotten the same building done. So I'm not sure that uh, you know they're they're comparing apples to oranges when it comes to what's the right thing to do or what's the you know uh, politically expedient thing to do. I mean, I I would have been gung ho uh, for it if they said, "You want plastic or paper bag?" When you're at the register. 
you know, or or if a robot asked you that, because they're going to do away with uh, <laughs> cashiers anyway. And well, that, that's, it already it already works that way. I mean, that's what it is—plastic or paper. Okay, well, that's I'm yeah. But isn't there also going to be a charge now for paper too, or is the paper still no, going to be available? No, she no, said, no, no. That surprised no. me. No, 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 no charge. That's a rumor. No charge. No charge for paper. So you'll be able to walk out with paper bags, which, quite frankly, are not as convenient as plastic bags in many cases. But, but okay, you can give you plastic bags. But they're encouraging you to, you to use the, the canvas bags, which I do, and I prefer to use them in many cases. But there are lots of times when I like to have a plastic bag, which I then reuse for different purposes. So it's not like it's a one-life thing and then it's, uh, then it's into the garbage and it's done. You know, it, it has a valuable resource. It's a valuable resource after I, after I use it. And if I don't... I recycle it, that which is what stores have been doing. So I, I, I'm not sure I see the necessary need to attack this one particular item. Now, as I was talking with a listener earlier, if you go into any supermarket, every single bag of potato chips you buy has about 10 times more packaging than it actually needs. Or if you go into the deli area, they wrap a half a pound of turkey in 18 layers of plastic and paper and, and something paper, else. Yeah. Right. Forget the paper, man. right. Instead of well, just as, as it, as it so, there's out, lots of waste to go around. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, look, we, you know, look, we have a, a problem with breaking down um, materials and and the lack of space on Earth in landfills and the harm to wildlife. No doubt. I mean, you can, know we that, all, can we all agree to that? Oh, absolutely. There's no doubt about it. We we we, oh. we we waste a ton of stuff. There's no doubt about it. I there there's islands of garbage floating around in the Pacific Ocean that are islands unto themselves. It's disgusting. There's no it, doubt it, about it. But it so so if this if this if this turns the tide on that if this if this if this starts to you know eliminate some of that problem over decades, isn't that something that we can you know? I don't think this is the way. To, no, I don't think this is the way to go about it. I think better time and energy is spent educating people that they shouldn't choose to use a plastic bag if they don't need to, but it's available if you need it, and only use it in case you really need it. I think that's where it's better spent. I don't think they should make a law saying stores can't carry this end of discussion. I don't like that. No, I don't either. I don't either. All right. Well, No, we uh, because I, I recycle uh, lots of stuff on my own, in my home without a government telling me that I have to do it per se. I do that. I minimize my waste usage on my own. And I think others should be educated to do the same. I think that's well, the better way to go. I mean, what's, it, ne I mean, what's next? Are people going to force us to drive a hybrid car or, or, or walk everywhere we have to go? I don't want to be forced to do that. That's not what society is about. I think there's plenty of other opportunities for us to choose to minimize our impact on the earth. And we should. We absolutely should, but we don't. It's but we problem. should. But but that's I think that's part of education. Well, uh, anyway, it's, and and leadership by example, not by force. Yeah. Where were we well, after this before? Because we got to move along pretty soon. But um, you, I interrupted you when you were doing something else here. Yeah, yeah, no. Well, well, we could talk about it next week. I was just talking about the trend of um, co-working, which yeah. is very hot, very topical, but. Uh, why don't we stick a pin in that and we'll save that yeah, one for next week? Yeah, let's do that next week. Yeah. All right, thanks all right, a can... lot, Tina. All Rockland right. Business I'll... Journal, you, you can access it and it's updated all the time. You don't have to wait once a week to get it. It's RC, right, RCBiz. RCBiz. RCBizJournal.com. RCBizJournal.com. Thanks a lot. And Tina is, has, has, has very graciously taken to taking these interviews that we do and posting them on her site as well. So if you missed any of it here, you can go listen to it on her site 